Hi guys, it's Phaedra from allthingsphaedra.com and I have another real life one week test drive of a vehicle. Guess which vehicle I'm in this week? It is the 2017 Nissan Rogue, but it is not just the Nissan Rogue, it is the brand new hybrid version of the Nissan Rogue. You'll notice I'm starting this review from inside the car and that is because something happened over the weekend and it went from warm 70 something degrees in the middle of November to freezing cold. And while we're inside the vehicle, I thought I would take a moment and show you some of the awesome things about the Rogue. Speaking of cold temperatures, you'll notice that I have seat warmers for both seats, some nice big cup holders, you've got your gear shifter here, and then what is becoming standard pretty quickly, an auxiliary port, a USB port, and then a 12 volt charging port, which is typically what I use for my phone, as you can tell. One of the things I like is auto manufacturers that know the way people live and the way they drive. So one of the things I always look for in a car is where can I put my cell phone? I've got the area right here in front of the gear shifter where I could lay my phone flat, or I have this nice little rectangular pocket where I could put the phone as well. The other thing that matters to me is the cockpit. How does it feel when I'm sitting in the vehicle? What I like about the Rogue is that the dashboard has pretty good clearance. In fact, I feel like it comes down fairly low and almost has this mini vanish quality to it. So I don't feel like I'm trying to peek over the top of the dash. Now the model I reviewed was the SL front wheel drive and it came fully equipped with things like satellite radio, navigation, the 360 degree camera, which by the way, I have become so dependent on. I love the visibility that it gives me and a variety of apps that you can link to, including Nissan Connect services. One of my favorite things is actually the steering column. I love the D-shaped steering wheel. The controls on the steering wheel were not initially intuitive, but I got the hang of it pretty quickly with controlling the audio and then controlling the information screen up above here. You can simply scroll through and look for information. Now, I didn't want to give it away, but you can see it right there. There is the fuel economy that I got during the week that I was driving this vehicle. You'll also find more options down here, which is fine, except some of the things like the heated steering wheel, the control is a little bit out of the way, as are the sport and eco modes. So I prefer to see these controls brought up a little bit more. Oh, look at that. I just discovered the odometer settings. I didn't know where they were. Checking out the rest of the interior, what I really loved is this panoramic moonroof, which extends all the way back through the second seat. Only the first part opens, but it never felt too warm in the car with it open. Could be the time of the year. A spacious back seat with plenty of room for your child to leave crumbs back there. I'm sitting in the back seat and I'm short, my husband's tall, so when my son is sitting back here, he gets the chance to experience both types of leg room and I can tell you that when the seat is all the way forward, of course, there's no issue. When the seat is all the way back, like my husband usually keeps it, there's still plenty of leg room, not only for my son, who's pretty big for his age, um, plenty of room for crumbs as well, but plenty of room for a, an adult sitting back here. And now let's talk cargo space. If you've got an SUV, it's because you want cargo space. Now this is not equipped with the third row, but one thing that you need to think about is when you have a hybrid vehicle, the battery has to go somewhere, and usually it comes at the expense of something. In this case, it's the rear, but you'd be surprised at how little room it actually takes up back there. This is the cargo space, much like you would expect, but you've got a little raised up lip there, and that's because this is the area where some of the space is being taken up by the battery. I think they handle it very nicely by making up for the small amount of cargo space that you lose by putting a store under space underneath the front flap. If we really want a true sense of the cargo space though, we need to put those seats down, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, that was a two-handed job. This, the whole cargo area is raised up, again, because of that battery back here. The only thing you're gonna lose is a little height in the cargo space, but for me, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be much of an issue. Now let's brave the great windy outdoors and I'll show you some of my favorite parts of the exterior. As you can tell, even when it's not in electric mode, the motor's pretty quiet and for that reason, when you put the vehicle in reverse, it does have a beeping sound to alert people that you're backing up. It has the hybrid badging. And one of the things I love
Unlike many others in this class, it's got a power lift gate. It makes it easy to open either from the key fob or from the rear. And then with the simple push of a button, down you go. That's pretty much gonna wrap up my review of the 2017 Nissan Rogue SL front wheel drive hybrid or HEV. Unfortunately, I don't have a list price for this vehicle that I'm driving, but you can expect that it would follow closely with the Rogue SL front wheel drive pricing with, an, with a premium added on for hybrid driving. So the real question is, is it worth it to go hybrid? I've been a hybrid driver for years and I will say that I like the feel of this drive. It's a little torquier than the regular Rogue. It's got a smoother, quieter ride that I enjoy. And I average 32.4 miles per gallon. So if you're looking for a small SUV that is not gonna kick you in the gut with gas mileage, then this is definitely one that you're going to want to put on your list. Very comfortable to drive, has a very mini vanish feeling. I say that to the ladies out there that might be considering this. A lot of space for a small family. So if you're looking for something like this, make sure you go to allthingsphaedra.com. Check out my full written review with lots of photos or just subscribe and stay tuned for more auto reviews.